You know, more than ever, people are looking for technology professionals. This whole thing happened in 2019, or actually it was 2020s when it sort of became this big thing. I think you know what I'm talking about. Technology became this thing that was already popular, but even more popular now because all these companies now needed to start working from home. Before, just came into the office. Now all of a sudden, everybody was thrust into a space where they needed to now work from home. So the technology people needed to get everything ready and make sure that they could support all the staff and all the servers and the networking and security from a remote location. So a lot more companies started investing a lot more in technology, a lot more than they used to before. And nowadays, technology is even bigger because of the consistent cyber threats that are out there. It's almost on a daily basis that you're hearing about companies that are getting ransomware, that are getting hacked, targeted, data being stolen, publishing it on the dark web. It's a scary world out there. So companies are spending a lot more money than they used to, to ensure that their technology is safe, it's secure, and is supported. With that said, here are the seven jobs that you should be looking into. Companies want these people. If you're like me and you're working in tech, sometimes it's hard to know whether you stack up on your skills to be able to land maybe a future job. Wouldn't it be great if there was a tool, questions that you could answer, where at the end, you would see whether you're good enough to maybe land that job. And the great news is that there is a free tool that you can check out. A tool that I have used and I absolutely love. Down below in my show notes, I've got a link to this tool called Astrid. 20 minutes, you run through a whole bunch of questions that will be asking and seeing whether you've got the skills in specific areas. Not only technical skills, but also skills like soft skills, communication skills, time management, run a project, and a whole range more. It's really for anybody in IT to go through. Perhaps you're a systems administrator and you wanna get into security and you don't think you've got the skills. Well, at the end of this, you will see if you've got the skills, because it's gonna give you a summary list at the very end of what skills you've got and what jobs are available to you or recommended for you based on your skill set. If you're a networking person and you wanna move up to maybe becoming a network architect, brilliant. It'll let you know at the end whether they think you've got the skills to be able to land that next job. So check it out down below, Astrid. Your IT admins, your systems administrators, your network administrators, your engineers who look after your network, your servers, they're gonna be the people who are gonna be very high in demand because almost every company that deals with something like Active Directory, they've got servers, they've got routers, they've got switches, they're gonna need administrators and engineers to manage them, to administer them, to engineer them, make them better. This also includes people who work on the cloud. So even though there's not physical tech perhaps in a business, if they've got some sort of cloud technology, AWS, Azure, other sorts of cloud tech, you're gonna need cloud engineers. And these are all sort of bunched together in the admins and engineers, really high in demand job. Get those skills because a lot of companies want these people. Business analysts and systems analysts. What are these roles? Well, the systems analyst is somebody who can analyze systems, understanding how all the systems work together. What is the process? How does data flow between the systems? What are some things that you could be improving in those systems to get the best results? Somebody who's a systems analyst also understands a little bit about data analytics, understands the benefits of the systems and how they work, but then how to extract the data out of them into usable forms that the business can actually use. Actually understanding how things work on those systems. Very closely related to this is the business analyst where they are also gonna be working very, very closely with the business. Working with the business to understand their need, understand what they wanna see, and then being able to interpret that with the technology team to actually build the product that they need. How they could be working smarter and what each individual in the business actually does, the departments, what the function is, and then bringing that to technology, going out, doing some homework, some analysis, some discovery, and then finding the solution that best works for the business. 
Number five is IT managers. Now this is IT managers of all sorts and they do come in all shapes and sizes. Even more senior directors, heads of technology, CIOs, CTOs, we're all gonna lump them all together in the role of IT manager. These are the people who are leading the IT functions in a business. So most of the roles that we're talking about in this video are gonna be reporting into a manager or a director in technology somewhere. Right, it's, 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 it's gonna happen. So these roles are always gonna be in demand and they will always be in demand even in the next year and the year after because every single company needs somebody to manage the entire IT ecosystem, development, infrastructure, security, data, all of that IT managers. Next, we've got database administrators, people who look after databases. If a company's running applications, if they're running websites, they're probably gonna have database servers of some sort. They could be Microsoft database servers, like SQL servers. They could be Oracle. There's a whole range of skills that database people have got. And the bigger the company, the larger the databases will be, the more complex the databases will be, containing millions and millions, if not billions of entries. So somebody who understands this space is gonna be extremely high in demand. We've then got data scientists. Sounds very, very fancy. Sounds like somebody who's in a science lab doing things all around data. A data scientist, what do they do? They essentially evaluate data. They help companies make smart decisions, make good business decisions, getting all the pieces together, all the puzzle pieces of the technology stack, all the data. So it's like a mix between a infrastructure engineer and a business analyst that is now gonna put all that data together and get good information out of it. Nearing the number one, number two is developers, people who are developing stuff. There's a whole range of developers in this category, but developers are really, really high in demand. So this category includes software developers, game developers, web developers, app developers, you got your .NET developers, Java developers, anybody who does any sort of programming, extremely high in demand. If you got skills across varied range of languages, of programming languages, you're gonna be even more high demand. And here we are, the number one job. The number one job that is more in demand now than it has ever been. A lot of bad people wanted to get into people's computers. There's a lot more hacks, malware attacks, ransomware, data being leaked, bad, bad news. Who's gonna look after this? Security people, cyber security experts, cyber security engineers, analysts, people who focus on forensics. Anybody that is a expert in cyber security is the most high in demand job. These are people who have got a good understanding around servers, networking, cloud, end user computers. So the more secure the network is, the harder it will be for people to be able to infiltrate that network. For the most part, it is one of the most sought after roles most job openings available in technology, but they're also very, very risky roles because if somebody's network is compromised, they're gonna be asking, how did this happen? You're meant to be looking after this and making sure that this doesn't happen. So there you have it. Let us know down below what you thought. Hey, stay tuned for the next video. We talk about tech every single week on this channel, a lot of tech. Stay tuned for that next video. We'll see you next time.